ఏవా గ్రీటింగ్స్ ఫ్రమ్ రోహిణి కాలేజ్ ఆఫ్ ఇంజనీరింగ్ అండ్ టెక్నాలజీ ఐఎమ్ ప్రొఫెసర్ రాధిహ ఫ్రమ్ కెమిస్ట్రీ డిపార్ట్మెంట్ ఇన్ దిస్ వీడియో లెక్చర్ సిరీస్ వీ డిస్కస్ అబౌట్ ద కోర్స్ ఎన్విరాన్మెంటల్ అండ్ సోషల్ ఇంపాక్ట్ అసెస్మెంట్ ఇన్ దిస్ వీడియో వీ డిస్కస్ అబౌట్ ద మెయిన్ అబ్జెక్టివ్స్ ఆఫ్ ఈఐఏ ఇట్స్ నీ గోల్స్ అడ్వాంటేజెస్ అండ్ ఇట్స్ డిస్అడ్వాంటేజెస్ లెట్ అస్ సీ ద మెయిన్ అబ్జెక్టివ్స్ ఆఫ్ ఈఐఏ so eia is nothing but environmental impact assessment environmental impact assessment is a tool which is used to indicate whether any major activity undertaken to ensure that it will not harm to the environment the main objective is it must indicates whether the going project is affects our environment or not its main objectives are identifying predicting and evaluating economic environmental and social impacts of developmental activities which provides information on the environmental consequence for decision making we know that an impact can be defined as any change in the physical chemical biological cultural or social economical environmental system as a result of activities relating to a project therefore eia planning tool helps planner in predicting future impacts of different developments let us see the salient features of eia eia identifies the possible positive and negative impacts which may be a short time duration or long time duration which also provides a plan which will reduce the negative impacts of a project the plan may be a project alternative or project modification or environmental protection measures which reduces the negative impacts it also measures the level of plan implementation and the degree of effectiveness of environmental protection measures why the eia is important what is essential we know that when a new project starts in an area it will disturb the environmental equilibrium so that the eia is necessary to know whether the project should be started or not in order to maintain the quality of environment it is essential to study the impacts of project on a environment this eia also suggest the remedial measures for the pollution control the pollution caused by the projects thereby we can implement the pollution control methods along with the projects like construction of treatment units or the usages of any other equipments the opinion of public is considered for conducting eia therefore the decision taken about the commencement of new project will be more environment friendly the main goals of eia is conservation of all type of natural resources available in the earth crust and also minimize the formation of the waste recovery of by product efficient use of equipment and sustainable development all over the main goal of eia is in order to protect our environment from harmful impacts and also in order to maintain the sustainability for our future generation the eia need is very very essential then advantages of applying eia so the uh, during formation of any kind of projects this eia follow the systematic approach it gives the information to the public as well as the decision maker it is a consistency of approach and it helps to improve the design and it provides a systematic methods of impact assessment during construction of any type of projects that eia give the clear information about the about the project uh, to the public as well as the decision makers it helps to estimate the cost or benefit trade off of alternative actions the main disadvantages of applying eia is sometimes it becomes very uh, costliest one complex one it takes more time as well as uh, it needs a multidisciplinary team also 
so uh, in this video lecture series we discussed about what is meant by eia uh, what is its salient features its goals advantages and disadvantages thank you for listening thank you